Hi, uh, we're gonna make pancakes. This is pancakes from scratch without a batter. Things you need. Uh, you need a skillet. Start off, turn on the skillet. Uh, put some oil in it so it doesn't burn. The idea here is speedy pancakes. So heating up the skillet, medium heat, while make mix the batter. Pancake mixing, you really just need, I got my assistant here to help someone who likes to eat pancakes and help watch while we make. So, pancake making a uh, batter from scratch is, is really basic. You need three things. Those three things are flour, which we have here. You need liquid, which we have in the form of milk. And you need fat, which I got in the form of oil, yogurt, cream. And you need binder. So, that's the bananas and the eggs. Then there's some flavor add-ons, vanilla, um, and uh, cinnamon. You can add on any flavoring you want. There's um, leavening agent, which I have, which is uh, baking powder. You don't actually need leavening agent because pancakes are so thin, but it does help. They're less, they end up being less um, flat. If you don't add the leavening agent, they're more like crepes than pancakes. So, what are the three keys again? The uh, binder, the liquid, the flour, and the fat. Binder, liquid, flour, fat. That's four, huh? So I wasn't counting flour. So binder, liquid. In addition to flour, you need binder, liquid, and fat. So bananas act, I don't know if you know this, but in many ways as a substitute for eggs in a lot of recipes because they're a binder. The nice thing they do in pancakes is they add, they add banana flavor, they add sweetness. Drop your water, honey. So, I beat the living daylights out of this to turn it into a banana you pulp. See? See now? Pancakes. First you start off with banana. You just kill the thing. So it's a pulpy mess. With a fork, you gotta just mash that thing up. Yeah, so there's that. So then, eggs. You know, add a few eggs. Whatever kind of feels right at the time is kind of what I do. Two, three, or four, depending on the size of the egg. Add the eggs. We'll do three today. Get off my hand there. Nice to have a towel. Dry your hands on. So I'll beat the egg. Beat the egg in with the banana so that I can mix that. Alright, so, so we're kind of getting the the binding. This is all binding stuff. And it's liquidy. Eggs are liquidy. So we got a binding, flavorful mix. Then you go ahead and you add everything else. Like um there was a yogurt container in the fridge that I figured had been there for way too long, so I might as well just empty that into here. Give me some liquid. Give me some fat, some thickens. And there was some uh, sour cream, which hasn't been opened yet, but has also been in there for a while, so might as well get that on out. Fat, fat just makes things taste better. There's not a whole lot of else that can be said for fat. Flavor it makes, probably makes them fluffier. The more fat you add in there. Um, and, and this milk, I usually use whole milk and this is 2% so we're a little low on the fat anyways. So you add the milk. Got that. You know, a little extra fat just for good measure, some olive oil, uh, flavor of some items, cinnamon, vanilla, just, just, just vodka with a vanilla bean in it, and um, I'll mix that in. So see now I got just, it's liquid, this is the battery kind of you want, just, it's just like you had water, and then you then you're gonna add the flour. But it's got, it's binding, it's, it's liquid with the binding agent and the fat. And then we can add the flour. In this case, I'm using whole wheat flour simply because I'm 
trying to use up this whole wheat flour because it's old. Um, so we can, uh, you know, you know, you ask the question, how much flour? Well, not that much. The more flour you add, the heavier the the recipe is, and the um, less flour you add, the lighter those pancakes are as far as settling in your tummy, the more you're able to eat. Just not as heavy. So, add some cinnamon because, oh no, our cinnamon jar is reaching the end of its lifespan. No cinnamon today. So, you're gonna mix in the flour, and you'll find as you're, as you're doing this that it'll feel nice and battery, or it'll feel um, off. And in this case, honestly, I, I can't really tell the line between too liquidy and too um, too much flour is, is very fine, which is probably why people use recipes where they where they measure stuff, and um, that way they they don't ever have that problem. But what I do is I just add everything in the bowl. And I beat the living daylights out of it. I try to um, add less. No, let's not touch that. I try to add less flour, and then if it looks too watery, I add more. But this is good. So let's throw the pancakes on, and I'll just show you what I mean by pancakes from scratch in a, in a few minutes. So you, you get your spoon. It's good to have a nice pancake spoon, and I uh, know we're gonna we're gonna watch these cook. We're gonna we're gonna flip them over. Uh, I mean, I might edit out some of this. We'll see how it goes. But I also like to wash as you go, so I'm done with my fork. So I wash that bad chicken in the sink. Dry my hands. Now, technically, and then I then as I'm waiting. For these guys to um, to bubble, start putting away my ingredients. It's always good to do a review. Never, it's never bad to review things. Remember, we have flour, of course. Nobody's going to forget that if they're making pancakes. But what you might forget is the fat. Milk has fat. Sour cream, yogurt. You can use anything for fat. Uh, oils, but typically butter would be nice and flavorful. But I use oil. So. Of course the flour, then the, then the three important things is the fat and the binder. I used eggs and banana. So fat, binder, and what was the what was the other one? Fat, liquid. So for liquid I used milk, oil, and eggs. So those also have the fat and the binder in them. But those are the kind of the, the big three, and we added flavor. We added leavening agent, it's baking powder. So I just, you know, clean up as you go. So I just end up with, with a, probably should rinse out this spoon here. Throw this old yogurt away. These guys back in the fridge. Are these ready? Zoom that camera on in here on the pan. You'll see we get we get to flip. We get a nice golden brown um, pancake. Noah always gets excited when she actually sees the product coming to coming to be. This is a nice, wonderful. Golden brown pancake. There you have it. That is pancakes from scratch in a few minutes. Thank you.